hypervan owner, do you prefer to go somewhere with lots of facilities? Maisie, I'm filming. One, two, three. Do you prefer to go to a campsite with lots of facilities or somewhere a bit more rugged where you can get a campfire and relax? It's not going to work, this. I <laughs> prefer to have... <laughs> oh, I give up. We are off to the biggest campsite in the whole of England. There are 800 pitches. Do you know where we're going? If you come into Shell Island, don't forget to check the tide times because this is a causeway and people have got stuck on this when the tide comes in. So show them the causeway. This floods at certain times of the year. you get 20 Macy says <laughs> we like to camp in the sand dunes and if you like a bit of nature simply keep going and going past the last water point down a very bumpy road because we do don't get a light lowered camper van as I keep saying so you can come to Shell Island without worrying the lesser spotted Macy in her natural habitat <laughs> Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> you know where we dug our trench, Macy? Yeah. That's where we're going. Okay. It's no. still there, you know. <laughs> Ruth! <laughs> right, we've done a recce. And it's not that busy, there's a few spots, but we're just deciding what's best. Hold fire. not get out but you'll get in <laughs> meanwhile <laughs> self inflated maps is the way forward isn't it mate we have landed at Shell Island and we are all set up. I'm going to show you our setup. So, this is moi. We have Anonymous Child number one in his tent. We have a setup here. Uh, kind of cooking set up with all the snacks and everything. We've got some of the camp fans, but we're forecast beautiful weather. This is Dave's I want to be on my own set up when he's had enough of me. <laughs> this is our surroundings. Look who's with us today. I'm so happy. Um, <laughs> I love Shell Island because although it is the biggest campsite, wherever you park, you don't feel like you're in um, like a campsite refugee city, camp. a, a, unless you're in the refugee camp, which is like the campsite city. But if you like pockets of countryside, this really is it, isn't it? It's, it's it. I love it. And it, it's always really sunny, it's always really sunny weather and always really bad weather. This is Ruby. Ruby's in her own tent today. Say hello, Rubes. <laughs> in a little cave. It's a little bit, you need the self-inflating mats are better, I think. Oh, look, we've got a toilet tent. This tent had no guide ropes and progressively changed shape as the week continued. Finally, the zip and peg holes broke, rendering it useless. I would not recommend. A toilet tent with, hang on with our diamond, blue diamond composting toilet. 
plenty of room to get changed. And you definitely need a toilet tent at Shell Island because it's a bit of a walk to the loos if you're in the sun dunes. Macy's in this tent having a little nap. Oh, she's there. Look, give us a wave, Mace. Hi. She's all set up. And anonymous child number two is in this tent. Today we have curry, rice, poppadoms, and Dave is doing nan breads on the fire. Pamper session, <laughs> camping style. Go on. Oh, has it got a fringe? <laughs> Nay. <laughs> it's got eyes and everything. <laughs> oh, that's just funny. Hmm. <laughs> Let's pull it all around. We all slept really well. We've woken up to blue sky. Oh, look at this. Oh. Davinda, coming to say hello to the vlog. Hello to the dog. Vlog. Good morning, happy child, people, campers. How are you? I'm good, I'm good. Thanks for the brew. You're more than welcome. The whole of Shell Island has no planned pitches as such and is very much a find your spot and set up camp. At 450 acres it stands as one of Europe's largest campsites. The site is within the Snowdonia National Park with all this area has to offer. It has views of the Welsh countryside and mountain ranges and has both a stunning sandy beach and a pebble beach. Boating, bird watching, crabbing and beach fun all on your doorstep. Prices range from £10 per adult and £5 per child and campfires are allowed. The campsite does take day visitors but only when not at full capacity. There is a bar, laundrette, arcade, shop, ice cream parlour, camping shop, showers and snack bar on site. And for those who don't fancy camping, there's also two chalets and a number of flats that can be hired. Okay, um, so I haven't filmed much, but I thought I'd do a quick tour of how we kind of have our camper van when we're kind of staying put and then you might be able to get tips from it. You might be able to offer me some tips. Okay, so I'll start here. So, um, so this is the pop top area. I always keep my handbag there and phones go here so that I can always find them easily because you tend to lose phones. Okay, you've got obviously my clothes are here. Um, these, these are great. I thought I'd mention these. These magnetic things are great in this weather because you can have the window down and still have the shade. Um, but also you can open the side door, which is fantastic. Um, also behind the seat, we are keeping anything that needs to keep cool, namely beer and weirdly a bicycle pump. <laughs> so I'll just shut that. This is our prep for barbecue. We've got some spuds and I'm just marinating some vegetables for some skewers. Um, cheese grater out ready for the spuds and then the meats across there what else have we got okay I keep my um, washing up bowl to hand and just as things need going it just stays there add to it and then I can wash up when we're ready this of course is all the makeup this is the shower on charge ready for the next issue now something I've tried normally I put my duvet or sleeping bag away 
at night, um, but I haven't because we're not moving anywhere. So all I've done is shoved it behind the seat, which is great because it makes it easier for um, um, getting back out tomorrow. And then in the pop top, I have put my self-inflating mattress, Van Gogh self-inflating mattress, and the pop top mattress, which when it's just me, I use that as well for extra cushioning. Um, all of these items that I use, like this self-inflating mattress, I've got um, an Amazon shop. Uh, there's a link below and it says go to my Amazon shop and it shows you all the things that we use. And if you decide to purchase them from Amazon, I get a small bit of an affiliate payment. It's very small. It's like 2p. But, you know, it's, um, it's stuff I would recommend. It's not stuff I wouldn't recommend. So things like the shower, things like the self-inflating mattress. There's various things. The walkie-talkies, you know, just kind of things we use. So you go and have a browse if you want. Um, right, what else? Um, oh yes, we keep all our so soft drinks, stuff that we're not worried about getting stolen, under here to keep them cool. That's a little hack. I suppose people might do that anyway. Look at this, what Dave's friend made, this kind of griddle thing, so you can have it over a fire. It's absolutely brilliant. And these, I'll show you, these... Um, these just stick in the ground and they can go higher or lower, higher or lower, sorry, than uh, according to whatever you've got underneath. And then you can just remove it or have the fire going through it. It's brilliant, really handy. Um, camping hacks, what other camping hacks have we got? Um, so drinks that we're gonna have later, we have put in water to just start cooling. Um, have you any camping hacks here, Dave? Oh, here's a camping hack. Drink your alcohol quickly so it doesn't get warm. <laughs> um, so this is the bike we're using to transport the water and nip to the shop and stuff. And Dave's tied it to his roof rack with the chain. And it would make a lot of noise if someone tried to nick it. So we've not brought the electric bike because that's worth far too much money and too risky to get nicked here. Any other camping hacks, Dave, from your van? You your gloriously tidy organized oh, van <laughs> <laughs> yes just enjoy <laughs> it's lovely isn't it we're very relaxed all the children have gone to the beach and they're all rather tanned burnt stroke tanned we have been putting sun cream on them all day but of course you're out in it all day so um so we've got a rare moment together haven't we dave so on that note i'm gonna go bye Good morning. Well, it's actually two o'clock in the afternoon, so we've sunbathed and it's now taken us, Macy, three hours to get ready. She looks fabulous, don't you, Mace? She looks fabulous, not like she's camping. Um, and we're going crabbing. Catching crabs. <laughs> Yeah, you need to. No, yeah. I don't. <laughs> Go on. Oh, get out. Just He's hungry. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> no, we have to get him. <laughs> He's, he's, look, he's doing a don't you dare. I wouldn't do. <laughs> he's arguing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, not a nasty one. Just pick him up. Just pick him up. <laughs> just pick him up. Just pick him up. <laughs> <laughs> just pick him up. <laughs> 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 
Sorry, get like a handful of times with him. Sorry. You got him. Oh, oh don't hurt him. He's not. <laughs> He's got a little gob full of sand, He's accepted his fate now. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, well done. <laughs> That way. There you go. Morning Dave, I just wanted to show you this, this is on our Amazon shop, so this is Dave's solar panel, it's a folding solar panel because he uses this fan for work, Dokio, it can be pulled out anywhere and unlike mine, which is on attached to my roof, can be, sorry, can be um, kind of directed to position towards the sun, so it's connected by a wire to can you show us where it goes, yeah. Dave? This like a type of voltmeter thing. Shows you it's charging. Topping your battery up, and I'm using it for to charge phones, radios, head torches. And you find now you haven't got a fridge in this van, which <coughs> is what takes fridge. mine, isn't it? So in this box here is a battery. Yes. yes. And that's what it's charging, it's charging like it. a leisure battery. And it's proper topped up. It's, it's brilliant, isn't it? Issue, yeah. It's really good. Um, your battery also gets charged via alternator, a, an alter, yeah. your alternator, your, um, your only, driving, only you driving, but yeah. you haven't drove while you've been here, nope. and, and it's full. Full, full battery. So the problem I've got is my fridge. My fridge drains my battery. Yeah. That's the problem. So if you've got a solution, can you please let us know? If you've got a solution, I would like to know, because... Uh, Dave's got more power than me and I can't have that because I've got all the food. I've got the power. Do, 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 <laughs> do. I've not tried this before so I'm trying a ham and cheese panini and cheese and tomato. Three of them in the SQ grill. We'll see how they do. I'm probably going to have to turn it halfway. So I did turn them and they got a bit, they fell. <laughs> So just be careful when you turn them. It might be easier to just, to just actually turn them like that. Ah. Yeah, it's melted it. Come out lovely. Moon bathing is now the order of the day as most of us have a bit of sunburn. There wasn't much to film on the last day as we all just relaxed, did a bit of sand dune sliding. And tried out the new USB chargeable shower. Basically, you just put, turn it on, that goes in there. Are you ready? Ah! I'm so ready. Ah! So I can't show you too much because obviously it's all teenagers in bikinis and I'm sure that would get me lots of views but that wouldn't be appropriate. Anyway, this thing's ace if it's sunny. Um, so it's like we realised it's one to turn it on it's and then setting. it's got a higher setting but we didn't realise that. We've used two of these buckets Not really. full for a rinse off for three of us really, haven't we? So yeah, I think that's ace for, for this kind of situation where you just want to rinse off, it's brill. I'll put a link below um, for this shower because I just got it off Amazon, it's brill and it wasn't even dear and I've not really used it yet so it's nice to use it. Um, but yeah, cool.
There is a life I lead in this city Hurry and to cut my teeth I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the like that it's all over we go A blockage. We have a blockage. Don't move yet. This is taking a long time. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, you killed it. Throw up my wedge. What happens when a fat bugger goes on the front? <laughs> Keep coming, little Splinky, keep coming. <laughs> <laughs>